Hi there, welcome to the 10th video of this series and in this video I will show you how you can describe a data set. So describing is nothing but generating the statistics from a data set based on its column that it contains. So a data set contains a lot of numeric columns and as well as uh, columns that contains character data. So numeric has column has a lot of statistics like min, max, standard deviation and all. But uh, the values, the character values only has uh, one meaningful property which is count. So let's see this thing in action how we can perform these kind of operations status, generating statistics with the help of the describe method of pandas. Alright, so as usual we will start with the importing the libraries pandas. So I'm pressing ctrl enter to import this. Then we are reading the excel file that we have been using and showing the first two rows of this data set. And it may take a couple of seconds based on how small or big your data set is. Alright, here we have the values. So it has properly imported the data. Now with the describe method, by default it takes only numeric column. So if I go ahead and execute this, you will see that only numeric column that it has taken along with row ID and order, order ID even though it does not have a lot of significance but it has taken that well uh, columns seeing that it contains numeric values and give us other numeric columns like order quantity sales discount profit unit price and their related statistics like count mean which is nothing but average standard deviation minimum values within 25th percentile, 50th percentile, 75th and the maximum. So these are the uh, some quick summaries which every statistician would really like to see as the first thing they would like to do start with the analysis. So that's why the describe is really helpful. Let's say you want to include the uh, you know the character data as well so you need to use the parameter within the describe which is include is equals to all. So let's go ahead and execute this. And now you will see all the columns have been included like uh, order date and order priority and things like that. So along with the count as I mentioned there is another one which I did not mention was unique how many unique value it contains that's also a very good one. Similarly it has another one which is frequency so that's why this describe is really useful uh, because it will give you uh, all these statistics pretty much handy and you can get some in important inferences out of it. After that, uh, let's see if you want to only include the character data. So we can specify include is equals to object within these brackets. So these brackets are important. If you are not giving them, it will throw you an error. All right, let's go ahead and execute this by pressing Control Enter. And here you will see only the columns which contains character data. All right. After that, if there are any specific multiple types of uh, formats available uh, for your data frame and you want only specific types, you can say include is equals to apart from object. After a comma, specify that you want float. That means the numeric one as well. So go ahead and execute this. And it will include the character and float values columns. Alright, so that's straightforward but very useful when you are starting the data analysis piece. After that, how we can describe a specific type of values by filtering it. So for example, Earlier in the videos, we have seen how we can filter the data and here we are just interested only on those orders which are of high priority. If you want to see that, the statistics related to it, I can just go ahead and execute this. Now, this statistics is reduced to only orders which are related to high priority and that's what, uh, you know, the things becomes more and more complex in the real time because you want to pinpoint to a problem by going more and more specific into the question to get the answer. 
pour more specific into the data to be precise and uh, after that uh, just extending the complexity by introducing and to make sure that we are looking at only those orders which are of order priority high and their value is more than 10,000 the sales value is more than or equal to $10,000 and we want to get that statistics so just an example of how things can go complex so if I execute this you will see that earlier the count was 1768 but now the count is 68 that means that's how you have reduced the data to further uh, you know do the specific research to get the answer of your question from the data so that's how you can use the describe method and uh, get into the data set and uh, get the summary statistics out of it and that's pretty much all i have for you in this video i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic